If you don't want to join the dark side, or you have joined the dark side, and it's that time in between cycles where you become natty again, this video is for you. Here are my five testosterone boosting hacks that have worked for many of my clients over the years. Quick disclaimer, this is not medical advice, just observations from nearly two decades of coaching thousands of fat loss and strength clients. The first is a list of parameters that need to be on point before you even think about the other four supplements on the list. Sleep seven to eight hours per night, no doom scrolling before bed, a nice dark room and a drop of lavender on your pillow will ensure an epic sleep. Lift weights, strength training stimulates growth hormone and testosterone production. Whole, unprocessed foods, get your calories from quality sources. Vitamin D, get outside more. A walk in the first 30 to 45 minutes of daylight is optimum, but we can't all do that. So supplementing with 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3 a day. The following are dietary supplements that help to increase the body's natural production of testosterone. Number one, cordyceps. It has been shown to improve oxygen utilization. It also improves tolerance to high intensity exercise. Benefits ATP production. Cordyceps supplementation directly enhances the levels of serum luteinizing hormone and testosterone in animal studies. I've personally seen clients' blood work show increases in testosterone of up to 20% using cordyceps alone. Number two, Tongat Ali is traditionally used as a male aphrodisiac. Many animal studies show this to be true as the dramatic increase in sexual arousal, motivation and frequency of sexual activity is the same as when testosterone is administered. So the missus will be happy, or maybe she won't. It is also an extremely powerful antioxidant with many other health benefits. It's very important to not take this supplement on its own as it can have negative side effects. It's best taken with zinc picolinate. This is what I found worked best with my clients. A dose of 200 to 600 milligrams of Tongat Ali with 20 milligrams of zinc picolinate. Number three, Fidosia aggressis, another compound that's very good for optimizing testosterone. It's a herb that increases the levels of what's known as luteinizing hormone, as mentioned before. This is a hormone that's released from the hypothalamus that travels to your balls to stimulate the release of testosterone. I give this compound to my clients at about 600 milligrams a day. Again, I've seen dramatic increases in blood work when combined with Tongat Ali. Number three, horny goat weed, also known as epidium, is traditionally a Chinese medicine used to increase libido and treat erectile dysfunction. I usually dose this at one to one and a half grams with my clients. This works for some people, but not for all. However, the positive effects it does have for everyone are alleviating fatigue, reducing anxiety, and helping you get hard. Something that is really beneficial for the boys as we get older. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe. Stay hard.